I have to say, this has been the most amazing week here in Puerto Rico. So I'm now going to do a steak sandwich, a beautiful New York strip, taking the fat cap off it, lightly seasoned it, and then I'm going to grill it super quick. But the secret here is to make sure we give some spice, some love into that steak, okay? And that's why I've got a red mojo. And it's a sort of a staple in Puerto Rican cuisine as a way of injecting some sort of, you know, flavor. But more importantly, it gives off the most amazing heat as well. Now, let that steak sit in the marinade. The secret now is getting a really good color on there. Push it down, nice and even, so it's been flattened out. I look at the size of the bread, and I think of my steak, and so I just manipulate that steak to the size of the bread. So therefore, no one's got any short ends. Push that down, get all that marinade in there, and then straight onto the grill. Find the hottest part and lay that on. Beautiful. Get that pan nice and hot. And now for the garnish. What goes well with the steak? Onions, peppers, beautiful. I'm gonna use a nice white onion this time round. Nice and chunky. Again, in. Touch of olive oil. Onions in. Plentiful. Nice. Next to that, some red pepper. Just literally top and tail it down to the side and around. Now, the secret here is to make sure that we get that balance of the sweetness with the beautiful caramelization of those onions. Peppers sliced nice and thinly. It's a steak sandwich, so we're gonna leave the skins on. Nothing wrong with it, and they saute beautifully, so nicely done. Beautiful. Peppers go in with the onions. Nice. Turn that steak. Beautiful. Now, on the first turn, get your mohol and just beautifully baste that over the steak. And you see this flavor profile, literally raising the roof through on generously. Nice. Let that sit there and sort of caramelize. Beautiful. Now once that steak's turn, again, lift it up and turn it. And go again with your mohol, this time on top. Beautiful. We need a really good robust bread. Lightly olive oil the bread. I've got a nice soft white roll. Pinch it together and grill that nicely. That's our staple. Straight onto the grill. Beautiful. Once that's toasted, bring that back. Make sure you've got a nice firm bit for the base. And there's the top. Really important to get that color on there. Then we'll take the steak off. Steak comes off. And then the peppers. Once they've caramelized, take a little touch of cilantro. Chop that up nice and fine. Throw that in there with your peppers. Scallions right at the end. And just take the tops off, okay? If they stay on the board, that is. When the wind picks up, it takes my tops away. Go into the steak sandwich, look at that. Beautiful. Finish that with a touch of seasoning. Mix that up. Beautiful. Now, generously, spoon on the peppers, the onions. That freshness with that little cilantro at the end, the hit, beautiful. I want them hanging out the ends. I don't want anyone skimping on that. Beautiful. Check the temperature. It's medium rare. Slice the bias up and sit that in. Slice side up. Beautiful. Those little bits 
for the dog if he behaved himself. Mmm, that is amazing. Little seasoning in there, because we've exposed the meat. Pepper, lid on, push down, hold it nice and firmly. Slice down. And there you go, a beautiful steak sandwich, Puerto Rican style. F the dog, I'll eat those little bits. This is for you. Now, if you enjoyed that recipe, please click the link below. And if you missed Uncharted, then please watch it on Catch Up on Disney Plus. <laughs> <laughs>